China's coal industry has long been a topic of debate, with the country making ambitious pledges to reduce its carbon footprint while continuing to rely heavily on this dirty energy source. China will increase coal production in a move that could threaten the country's climate change goals. In today's episode, we'll take you inside China's largest coal mine, revealing the stark contrast between the government's public green promises and the reality on the ground. This isn't about the gap between pledges and reality, between high-level international summits and the truth on the ground. From the massive coal pits to the coal-powered communities, we'll expose the truth behind China's coal addiction. Buckle up as we uncover the shocking reality of how much coal China is still using and why they're lying to the world about it. The Coal Mine Discovery As we ventured into the heart of China's coal-producing region, the air thick with the unmistakable scent of coal, we could already tell we were entering a different world. The landscape stretched endlessly, dotted with smokestacks and towering equipment, a visible testament to the energy-consuming machines that power this part of the country. This is no ordinary town. This is a coal town, and its entire existence revolves around the extraction of this black gold. We made our way to the mine, which was once the largest open-pit coal mine in the world. But as we learned, it no longer holds that title. The mine has been so thoroughly exhausted that it can no longer claim to be the largest. A bitter irony when you think about how much coal China continues to use. Despite the depletion, the mine still stretches far and wide, its colossal pits offering a glimpse into the sheer scale of the operation. We were told that this mine was once at the forefront of coal production, extracting millions of tons of coal annually. China now says it has increased its daily coal production by over 1 million tons in an effort to keep the lights on and businesses running. But as we approached, a sense of irony hit us. The very pit that once supplied China with energy now stands as a reminder of the country's over-reliance on a resource that has reached its limits. As we explored, drone footage captured the vastness of the mine, and it was impossible not to feel a sense of awe at the enormity of what was once one of the world's largest coal-producing sites. However, the question remained, how much coal is China actually using, and why does it continue to mine even when its resources are running low? The answer, as we would soon discover, lies in the country's ambitious and often contradictory energy policies. The Scale of the Coal Operation As we stood at the edge of the coal pit, it became clear just how massive this operation truly was. At 500 meters deep and covering an area of 11 square kilometers, this open pit mine is nothing short of a marvel and a terrifying reminder of how far China's reliance on coal has taken it. What once served as the world's largest coal mine now stands as a monument to years of unchecked mining, its once vast operations now exhausted. But its size and scale are still staggering, even though the coal extraction here has dwindled significantly. We were shown the evolution of the equipment used in this mine, a timeline that spanned decades and illustrated China's gradual move from local, smaller machinery to advanced international technology. Initially, the Chinese government relied on domestically made bulldozers, with the iconic red flag bulldozer being one of the first machines used. This was the only Chinese-made equipment in the entire operation, symbolizing the country's early efforts to develop its industrial technology. But as coal extraction demands increased, China turned to international suppliers. They began using Soviet equipment, followed by Japanese Komatsu machines, and finally, American-made machinery. The transition in equipment mirrors the transition in China's economic development from self-reliance to global collaboration, then, eventually, to the adoption of the latest Western technologies. Despite the advanced machinery, the environmental toll of mining remains immense. Even though they've stopped extracting coal from the largest sections of the pit, the devastation to the land, air, and surrounding communities is undeniable. The massive trucks and machines rumble through the town, carrying out what remains of the coal. The air is still thick with dust, and the landscape around the mine is scarred with the marks of years of relentless extraction. But what's most alarming isn't just the size of the mine, it's the fact that China is still actively mining coal, and it has made no effort to curb its consumption, despite global environmental pledges. The mine's scale reflects a broader issue. 
China's overwhelming dependence on coal continues even as the rest of the world moves towards cleaner energy sources. This raises serious questions about the country's commitment to reducing its carbon footprint. The State of the Coal Town As we journeyed further into the heart of the coal-producing region, the coal town's true nature began to reveal itself. It wasn't just a town built on the back of coal, it was a place entirely dependent on it. The state-run coal company provided housing for the miners, a lifeline for the entire community. These miners live in what can only be described as a modern-day relic of the industrial age, where everything, from the homes to the streets, seemed tied to the coal industry. The homes, though basic, are neatly arranged, clustered together in blocks with little in between. Many houses had blackened windows, a byproduct of years of coal dust settling on every surface. The workers' uniforms, recognizable by the government-issued insignia, made it clear that this was no ordinary town. The coal industry fueled the entire economy. State enterprise jobs dominated the town, and the people here had little choice but to work in the mines or in industries directly related to coal extraction. There were few alternatives for employment. Even the local markets were filled with coal-related products, from heating briquettes to clothing designed to protect workers from the harsh conditions. The air was thick with the ever-present smell of coal, a reminder of just how ingrained this substance is in the daily lives of the people here. Though we expected the pollution to be overwhelming, it wasn't as bad as anticipated, at least not during our visit. We were told that the situation worsens during winter, when coal is burned for heating, sending thick clouds of smoke into the already smog-filled skies. So this story uh, is about the disastrous amount of coal uh, that uh, China is now consuming. But even without the burning, the impact of coal mining was visible everywhere. The dust on the streets, the constant hum of machines, and the towering stacks of equipment and storage piles. This is where the true cost of China's coal obsession becomes apparent. These miners and their families live in an environment that is deeply shaped by the industry that both sustains and endangers them. And while the government provides jobs and homes, the environmental cost of living here is something the residents are forced to accept. Their futures are tied to a resource that is running out, and yet the country's demand for coal shows no signs of slowing down. China's Coal Usage versus Public Statements China has long positioned itself as a leader in the global fight against climate change, pledging to reduce its carbon footprint and invest in cleaner energy sources. Yet the reality on the ground tells a vastly different story. Despite ambitious public statements on cutting coal consumption and building a greener future, China continues to rely heavily on coal, both for domestic energy needs and for its global energy ambitions. The country's coal addiction isn't just a domestic issue, it extends beyond its borders, with China heavily investing in coal infrastructure projects across developing nations. One of the most glaring contradictions lies in China's public promises about curbing coal use. The government has repeatedly vowed to transition towards renewable energy, announcing large-scale investments in wind, solar, and hydropower. Yet in parallel with these green initiatives, China is building more coal-fired power plants than any other nation in the world. Recent reports show that China plans to add more than 100 gigawatts of new coal-fired power generation capacity in the next decade. This increase runs directly counter to the global climate targets set by the Paris Agreement, which aims to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees C. Instead of reducing its reliance on coal, China is expanding it, leaving the world to question whether the government's green pledges are just a smokescreen to improve its global image. China's aggressive coal mining policies compound this. While the government claims to be working towards reducing emissions and shifting to cleaner energy, in practice, it continues to mine coal at an alarming rate. Just behind us, the pit mine we visited remains one of the largest in the country, symbolizing the deep-rooted dependence on this polluting resource. The government has even instructed coal miners to increase production with little regard for the environmental impact. Internationally, China's contradictory policies are just as perplexing. On the one hand, it promises to reduce the carbon footprint of its energy sector, and on the other, it builds coal power plants in Africa and other parts of the developing world. 
These projects not only reinforce global dependence on coal, but also undermine the very climate agreements China claims to support. While China tells the world it is making strides towards a green future, its actions on the ground suggest otherwise, illustrating a clear disparity between public statements and reality. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. The Political and Economic Factors The persistence of coal in China's energy landscape is not just a matter of environmental policy. It is deeply intertwined with the country's political and economic strategies. Coal remains central to China's energy security, powering everything from industrial factories to the homes of millions. However, the country's decision to continue mining and burning coal, despite its environmental consequences, is largely driven by the need to maintain economic stability and growth. For China, coal is more than just an energy source. It is a symbol of economic strength and self-sufficiency. Politically, the Chinese government has made it clear that energy security is a top priority. With the world's largest population and one of the biggest industrial sectors, China cannot afford to risk energy shortages. Coal, being abundant within its borders, has been the backbone of the nation's energy infrastructure for decades. The Chinese Communist Party has relied on this stable energy source to fuel its rapid industrialization, and reducing coal consumption could be seen as undermining its economic agenda. Energy security for the party is about ensuring the country has sufficient power to meet its manufacturing and infrastructure needs, as well as to cater to the growing demands of an increasingly urbanized population. The political dimension is also evident in China's handling of coal imports. Recently, the country found itself in the midst of a coal shortage, a crisis that came as a surprise to many. Part of this shortage can be traced back to China's strained relationship with Australia. In recent years, diplomatic tensions led to an unofficial ban on Australian coal. There are growing signs an unofficial ban on Australian coal could soon be lifted by Beijing, a move that will give fresh hope to other industries. A key supplier for China. This decision, likely motivated by a desire to assert its influence in Australia, left China scrambling to meet its energy demands. Ironically, this shortfall in domestic supply exacerbated China's energy problems, forcing the government to scramble for alternatives. The economic repercussions of this coal shortage were also significant. As power plants and factories faced energy cuts, the Chinese economy suffered. Industries dependent on coal-fired power generation, such as steel and cement production, saw disruptions, and the manufacturing sector, the backbone of China's economy, was forced to cope with reduced output. This reveals the extent to which China's economic growth is tied to coal, and how difficult it is for the country to break free from its reliance on this resource. The Global Implications of China's Coal Practices China's continued reliance on coal has significant global implications, particularly in the context of climate change. As the world's largest emitter of carbon dioxide, China's energy choices affect not only its future, but the future of the entire planet. While China's pledges to reduce carbon emissions have been praised by international organizations, the country's reliance on coal undermines these claims. By continuing to build new coal-fired power plants and ramping up domestic mining efforts, China is actively contributing to global warming, which directly contradicts the global push for reducing fossil fuel use. China's coal consumption is not just an internal issue, it's a key factor in international climate negotiations. The country's expansion of coal infrastructure, both domestically and in developing countries, through projects like the Belt and Road Initiative, sends a clear message to the world. Fossil fuels are still the foundation of its energy strategy. These new coal projects in Africa and other parts of Asia increase global emissions and contribute to a worldwide dependence on coal that undermines global efforts to transition to cleaner, renewable energy sources. The environmental cost of this continued reliance on coal is far-reaching. Even as China touts its investment in renewable energy, the sheer scale of its coal industry dwarfs these efforts. According to the International Energy Agency, IEA, 
China remains responsible for around half of the world's coal consumption, making it a central player in global carbon emissions. As long as China continues to prioritize coal over cleaner energy sources, the global community's efforts to tackle climate change will face significant obstacles. Ultimately, China's coal practices underscore a harsh reality. While the world pushes for sustainability, one of its largest players continues to feed the fire of fossil fuel dependency, setting back global climate progress for years to come. China's continued reliance on coal highlights a stark contrast between its public environmental pledges and its real actions. Despite ambitious commitments to reduce carbon emissions and shift to cleaner energy, the country's dependence on coal for domestic energy production remains overwhelming. The massive coal mines we've explored, the state-driven coal communities, and the ongoing expansion of coal-fired power plants are proof that coal is deeply embedded in China's economic and political fabric. China's coal addiction reveals a stark gap between its green pledges and reality. While the government promotes a shift to cleaner energy, coal remains the backbone of the nation's power. This contradiction undermines global climate efforts and puts both China's future and the planet at risk. Until China genuinely moves away from coal, the world's climate goals will continue to be threatened by its actions.